Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. We're going to have a look at the ECM WF for today slash six weeks look at bottle for today's uh, second video. Uh, UK item focus for this one. <laughs> I should get on with that for you in a moment. Just to say that first video release today was our 6 m UK weather forecast. We have got a check the 14 day as well as a weekend forecast coming up for you today as well. Please like, share, subscribe on all our today's videos and content. Thank you so much everybody for doing that. Thank you so much to ECM at WF.INT for supplying the charts as well, by the way, thank you so much, I don't know, do you? Well, you're having a lovely Saturday, everyone. Okay, <laughs> let's get uh, going to start off with the uh, week one mean sale pressure anomaly. It takes us through next week, actually, which will be the 18th to the uh, 25th of October. Wow, wow, well. well, well. So uh, we can see, I'm so sorry, we can see that next week you're going to have low pressure dominating across much of Northern and also Western Europe. Uh, 500 millibar heights from the Arctic and North Pole view down also show this with low pressure again. What's up there? We have <laughs> going well, isn't it? With low pressure again in control. Uh, in the North Atlantic and across the Northern and Western parts of Europe. Okay, so the temperature anomaly next week is a bit cooler than average in the north and in the west. Ireland, Scotland, cooler than average. England and Wales, slightly above average temperatures. But not as hot as they were earlier in September. And substantially above average precipitation as well. Above average rainfall there for Ireland, the UK, and most of northern and western Europe, actually. So a, a wet week to come, wet old get. Um, but uh, a little bit milder than average down south. Week two <laughs> will be the 25th of September, the 2nd of October. Still looking unsettled here for the final week of September. Look at this, low pressure still coming in from off the Atlantic. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, the 500 millibar heights looks like that. Below average heights again. <coughs> Excuse me, across much of northern. Uh, West Europe add into um, the North Atlantic also. Temperature anomalies next week are around to a bit above average. A bit above average for the North, a little bit more above average for England and Wales. One to three degrees above normal. Three bears. So quite a warm, warm week. Uh, precipitation wise, yes, it's still coming out wetter than normal. So a couple of wet weeks to come. A wet end to September in complete contrast to a very dry first half of the month. Right, we're into October now. Week three <laughs> will be the second to the ninth of October. Um, okay, so we've got some low pressure towards Iceland there. High pressure down towards Spain and pushed away pushed towards the uh, east coast of America. And probably bring some sort of flow in from off the Atlantic. Week three. 500 millibar heights uh, has ridging more to our south actually that might be turning a little bit drier and a uh, little bit drier there actually temperature anomalies are a bit above average average is slightly above okay and uh, not much single precipitation but it does look dry towards our southwest a bit wet towards our northeast so we're probably in a bit of a no man's land there if anything um, but, uh, but, you know, the dry, it looks a bit drier anyway, I think, that week. A little bit more influence from high pressure. It'll be most evident in the south. Week, uh, three, week four, I should say. <laughs> what am I talking about? Week four will be the night to the 16th of October. Let's have a look. Okay, so that one has got some lower pressure to our west and to our south down here. Otherwise, quite a weak signal. 500 millibar height has height has between two ridges. We've got a ridge in the Atlantic and a ridge across much of northern and also eastern Europe. Probably some sort of trough through here with a bit of a dip in the jet stream. That's to be confirmed, though. Temperature anomalies are just slightly above average. 
Uh, precipitation, very weak signal again, but perhaps seems to have been slightly on the wetter side, uh, if anything, through uh, western parts of Europe. It might do. Right, we're cooking with <laughs> gas now, aren't we? Week 5 will be the 16th to the 23rd of October. Here we go. So lower pressure is to the south then. Uh, I've got low pressure to the south. Possibly some high pressure to the north. High pressure to the north. Low pressure to the south. 500 millibar heights looks like that. Bit of blocking up here. Bit of northern blocking getting going here. Within the high latches. Could there be a trough underneath it through there? Let's put in a question mark. Temperature anomalies are back down close to average in this week. So a little bit of a cool down taking place there, second half of October. Whoops, the daisies. What's happened there, EC? What are we doing? What are we doing, EC? Right, okay, so uh, we're back. Right, <laughs> that's hard to about moment. Thought my whole video was falling apart. So a little bit driving an average off the first time, a little bit driving an average to the north, west of an average to the south. I reckon this could be quite unsettled, actually. Um, by by week five there. And then lastly, week six will be the 23rd to the 30th of October, almost to month's end. Let's have a look. And again, we see some high pressure towards Scandinavia. They'll be trying to bring in colder winds from the east, probably by late October. Low pressure is down here. 500 millibar, oh, sorry, sorry, 500 millibar heights again with that ridge from Greenland through Iceland to the Norwegian Sea to Scandinavia and the Baltic Sea. So could that be bringing colder easterlies now? Let's have a look at the temperature anomaly. Uh, so nothing colder than average, but there's definitely like a cooling that's taking place with these white areas opening up between the sun and pink. Remember, white is going to be low signal or average. Uh, so a bit of a cool down, actually, going on there into the second half of October with those easterly winds maybe getting going. And rainfall-wise, we still see most of the wet weather to our south, actually. So, quite wet through Spain, Portugal, into the bed. And, <laughs> um, and try and... <laughs> what was that? What was that? And try and average up to the north. Right, OK. So, that's it then for another week. Um, so, what do we make of that? What do we make of that, everyone? Well, the rest of September <laughs> looking uh, quite wet, um, I have to say. Uh, so, a wet second half to September are setting the dry first half. Um, and uh, also, of course, yes, we are uh, going to be seeing um, further above our attention, not as hot as, like, early September was. Now, into October, it all gets a little bit uh, more mysterious. But I think what we do see... Is that, is that as we progress, I'm uh, not been on the magic water, not yet, not yet. As we progress through October, it looks like the scene is to take the high pressure further and further northwards, so possibly becoming a northern blocking type feature that, feature that could set up a cold and wet pattern through the middle and second half of October. All very speculative. Uh, but oh, we'll see how it goes. Right, that's it for this week. Remember, just a snapshot of what Molly Show could look completely different when we look at it again next week. Any forecast beyond five to seven days comes with big health wins and large pinches of salt should always be thrown into mix. Um, so what's the plan for the rest of today? Oh, and we'll look at this while again on Tuesday, actually. Next week, um, with the European outlook, you know, uh, so European outlook, and uh, I think we'll be looking at this again on Friday next week, not Saturday, but on Friday next week. But I've got to confirm all of that, um, when I check out my <laughs> dates and schedule for the rest of uh, the month. Anyway, we're going to be back later on with your weekend forecast, and there'll be a 10 to 14 day as well for this one, though. That's all for now, and thanks for watching. Bye for now.